better head over to the Beko kitchen to see what Mark has got on the menu today. This looks interesting. Right, we've got beef cheeks. They taste good, but boy are they ugly before they're cooked. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, great observation. Yeah, they are. Um, but I tell you what, the best thing about beef cheeks, they're really cheap. And yeah. if you cook them right and take your time, they are absolutely beautiful and a really nice meaty piece of meat. Um, and then, so we've got a, so we're going to braise it. So obviously yep. it takes a long time. You can do it in a pressure cooker to speed it up, or you just do it on the stove or in the oven. It takes about sort of three, four hours. But we've got red wine in there. We've got some uh, passata, which is like a tomato mm -hmm. sauce. We've got pancetta. We've got these beautiful dried uh, mushrooms, mm. porcini mushrooms, which yep. rehydrate that goes in there. Some vegetables, herbs. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. And the one thing that's going to make it better, mashed potato. Hello, mashed potato. Very much looking forward to trying this dish. Now we're back in the Beko kitchen of course we are doing well I say we you are doing <laughs> the beef cheek today it's an interesting cut of meat not something that everyone would be using at the moment no no and um, but it's really it's become really popular you know the chefs have made it really popular you see it on lots of menus and you're starting to see it in the supermarket now so it's very accessible right. and a good price point as well and uh, you know as long as you've got uh, a little bit of time and you can cook it nice and slow and get some flavour into that. It's a beautiful meal, you know? Brilliant. What are we doing with it? Right, so first of all, I've got a pan here. So you can do this all in one big pot if you want, but I'm just going to uh, split it up just to uh, make some or save some time. Cool. Um, so I'm going to give you that. Just lightly seasoned, seasoned it. Get a pan, get the oil hot, and then you just want to brown it now. So just uh, both sides. Get it nice and brown. Keep an eye on that. And then... Oh, it's just it's kind of clung to itself, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. So you just treat it, treat it like a steak now. I don't need to move it then. I no, no, just... don't, don't, don't well, move it. Give it a minute or so. Get it nice and brown, really caramelised. And then I've soaked some mushrooms. So these are um, porcini mushrooms, so they're dried. Yep. Uh, they've been sliced, uh, just really hot water. Pop them in a bowl, rehydrate them, and then you can see they go soggy. Um, but you're going to keep all this water here. So we're going to use that to cook the beef cheeks in as well. So that's going to be a stock, so it's going to give us a beautiful mushroom flavour. Okay. Exactly, right. We've got another little bit of oil in here. And then I'm going to um, chop some vegetables and we're just going to get them in. But I am going to put you to work now. Right. So what we're going to do, mortar and pestle. Yep. We've got some cloves. They uh, go in there. So we're getting a nice bit of spice. Cool. And then I'm going to put a little bit of salt, so you can use a little bit of rock salt. And I'm going to put a little bit of pepper in there as well. And some garlic cloves, so just peel them and then you mm. can pound them. I'm going to pound those. So you pound those, keep an eye on your beef cheek as well. Okay, um, one eye on the cheek, one eye <laughs> yeah. on the pounding. And then if you just chop the veg as well, that'll be good. <laughs> I can do this. It's, it's good. Um, well, you've chosen those veg. You've got carrot and celery, which to me, are not being a chef, I'm not trying to tell you how to suck it, seems <laughs> like a reasonably common ingredient. Yep. Um, why? Well, I mean, we're using this as flavour. So this is, um, so this is like, there's another French word for you. A mirepoix. Mirepoix. Yeah, so, so if you're making stews and stocks and so, you know, this is usual suspects. You've got carrots, celery, celery, celery leeks, uh, some onions. And we're going to pop this all in the uh, in the stew. So we're going to cook it for a few, you know a fair few hours till the beef's nice and tender. Right. So you know the vegetables are going to be nice and soft. So you can actually eat them if you want, or we can strain them out and just make a really nice sauce. And all this is going to flavour our sauce. So the beef's looking pretty good. How do I know when I want to sort of turn that? Because I am very tempted to do so. Yeah, no, just have a have a look at it now. I'll give you that, so we'll and then just, just flip it over. So really nice uh, caramelisation on there. Yes, indeed. So there you I'm go. just going to go and pop that Beautiful. Right over. Look at that. See, you'll have no job next week, yeah. right? <laughs> Beautiful. No, that's fine. You can have more no, job. <laughs> So I've veggies go in there. In here. Veggies are in there. Now what? Right, so you pounded all the garlic and the spices. That can yep. go in there as well. Cool. We're going to pop a cinnamon stick in there. Why, why the cinnamon? Because that's a sweet thing in my brain. Yeah, we've got the cloves, we've got the cinnamon. You know, it just gives it an extra edge to the sauce. You know, if you don't like those sort of sweet um, spices, you know, don't put them in. Yep. But, you know, always try something first. Even if you think you're not going to like it, try it, cook it, and then make a decision. Right. And so you've put this, these veg in this pot. Pretty much no liquid, just a bit of oil. Just it's a little bit of oil, and we're, and we're just going to sweat them down. So over a medium heat, keep them stirring for Good. sort of about five, ten minutes or so. Um, you don't need to get much colour on the uh, vegetables. We just want to soften them and bring the flavour out. 
We're getting right. the colour on the uh, beef cheeks. We certainly are. I've got some uh, some herbs there, so a little bit of rosemary, some basil in Hello, there. Hello, basil. And parsley, you know, that, that so all goes in. I noticed that you forgot to chop these. No, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's so all flavour. Oh, that <laughs> celery want, the parsley wants out. Um, so you've got the soggy mushrooms over there as well. <laughs> yeah. so, so the mushrooms, just drain them off, roughly chop them, they go yeah. in. We're going to keep the uh, stock, that's going to go in in a minute. Great. The beef is smoking, is that an issue? Uh, so if the pan gets really hot like that with the oil, you can turn it down because we've got lots of heat in there, but just keep it in okay. until it gets nice and brown. Lovely. Red wine goes in there. Perfect. Ooh, um, yes. Pancetta as well. So I've got this beautiful pancetta. And again, I guess that's just adding some flavour. Yeah, it's add, get a nice sort of smokiness, deep sort of saltiness as yep. well from there. That's in there. Um, red wine's in there. Um, bring it up to the boil, reduce it down a little bit to co concentrate those flavours. Then the passata goes in, we've got uh, the mushroom stock in there, and then we're going to pop another cup of water in there, bring it up to the boil, beef cheeks go in, turn it down, lid on, and cook it till it's nice and tender, two, three hours. Where are we at with these beef cheeks? Right, so the beef cheeks are on there, but they're going to take a few hours to cook, so I did prepare some before, and look at this, here's your beef cheek, you know, it's sort of clenched up, it's nice and soft, it's going to be meaty, it's beautiful, take it out. And then you've got all this beautiful sauce here. Yeah. And then this is what you want to do. Just strain it into another pot and we'll reduce it down. So that goes in there. It's reducing down. I'm going to pop the beef cheeks back in there and then we'll just create a glaze mm. and a gravy mm. and uh, it's going to be fantastic. But <laughs> what do we need to serve with it? Mashed potato. Yes, we do. Now, you have done something that my nana would think was really weird. But I'm actually, for once, for once, willing to run with you on this one because it looks like it's about to be all kinds of awesome oh, with your mashed spud. It is, it is. Right, so um, cut your potatoes into large chunks. Yep. Salt, light your salted water, cook them till they're soft, drain them, pop them back in the empty pan over the heat for about 30 seconds. Dries off the excess liquid. So you can see the potatoes are quite nice and dry now. Yep. Pop them into a sieve and pass them. I know it's a what? bit pass them. Pass them. Pass wow. them through the sieve, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit sort of uh, finicky and chefy, but I'm gonna tell you it will make the best mashed potato you've ever had. And you've got to work fast now, you've got to work whilst they're hot. Um, and you don't want to overwork them, otherwise they become waxy and gluey and one of the things though, isn't it, when you're like having people over, sometimes you do those little extra bits and pieces. To impress them. Because I think them. that you eat like that all the time. <laughs> oh yes, well I was doing my Maison Plus and just forcing it through there. It's just a little thing I whipped up for you guys. Oh, you surprised me. They, so then what are we doing here? This is all past. Right, so you can see how fluffy and light that potato mm. is. I've got a pot here, I'm going to put a little bit of cream in there. Great. So a little bit of cream in there just richens it up, but it also acts as a little bit of a safety barrier because we're going to put butter in there. Oh, and we're warming the cream up, why? So I'm just going to warm the cream up and it's just going to be easier to uh, get the potato in. Yeah. So just let it come up. I mean, you can put more cream in there and you can reduce it down and make it even richer if you want. There's a tip Hello. for you. Is this beef cheek okay, just chilling out here? No, no, it's fine. It's okay, fine. all right. <laughs> it's all good. Right, so you can see the cream's coming up to the boil now. Yes. I'm pop the potato in. And, and then you just want to sort of work it in. This is, it's like you're, um, I'm not even going to say what it's like, but this is really good. This is really good. Hey, so you can oh, see how smooth it, smooth it is, you know? So working fast, taking the extra uh, liquid me. off. I'm just going to pop over here. How it gets, and you know, this is not even finished. Braden's excited and it's not even finished yet. There's no butter in there yet. Just, oh, well, hang on. I'll just try it before the butter, just cause. Try it now and then, and then try it after and it'll be oh. so much better. It's really good. So you get to this stage now, and now is when you can start adding the butter in. A little bit at a time, and you just want to, off the heat, beat it in. Right, so in France, they, they call this uh, uh, pomme mousseline. We're going to get you a bell every time you <laughs> dro just drop a French word. <laughs> and, and basically, the mashed potato in France is the colour of that butter. They put oh. so much butter in. I love you it. Know. Um, but just use that heat of the potato just to get it in, just work it in, and mm. use cold butter as well. And then you will see it will just be beautiful, smooth, silky, rich, gorgeous. And so you only just, need a little bit. So you've pom muesli the... Uh... <laughs> muesli. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. 
That is absolutely so delicious. That. The magic of tally, Mark's going to be back with a finished example of this beef cheek, this braised beef cheek, which is absolutely delicious. If I don't eat it all before it gets to the bench, I promise you. You can find the recipe on our website. And now by the magic of TV, Mark's been cooking those braised beef cheeks, doing the cheekiest thing he's done in years <laughs> for four hours. Mark, how's it looking? Absolutely fantastic. Look at that. It's nice and... Um, Juicy and moist and soft, and look at that sauce just uh, reduced down, glazed over, and of course that buttery mashed potato. And you have jammed some shrubbery in the top there. It's nice yeah, to it's see. garnish. It's uh, chefified. <laughs> what do you call that, Dark? Oh, garnish. This there I you cannot go. wait to try. Hey, what's on the menu on Monday? Right on Monday, we've got a Brazilian skirt steak with garlic butter and a creamy chimichurri sauce.